Well, I didn't know he was Frankie Presto. I would hang around this local music shop and there was always like cute boys playing electric guitars, so that was sort of fun. I remember I heard Frankie, as you're calling him, I called him Mr. Rubio, um, playing. I remember looking in and seeing him and trying to kind of hide because I looked like a weirdo creeper 14 year old. Frankie caught me watching him and so I came into the room and um, he was playing, you know, Hendrix and things that I should have known but didn't know. And finally I asked him if he knew any show tunes, which was like super embarrassing now that I think about it. Frankie Presto, well, he was my music teacher, but also he was just otherworldly. They're I love it. Um, Bon Jovi, I'm pretty sure Bon Jovi came in and out a few times, but like secretly, like backdoor stuff. I assume now, yes, they were coming to play with him. I went to the school and um, it's gone. So when did you discover that your music teacher was actually Frankie Presto? In that Rolling Stone article. And why would somebody so talented just be, you know, sitting teaching? Why is he not performing? Why is he not in front of people, maybe he had a nervous breakdown or he just freaked out and came to Staten Island. I mean, I'm glad he did. When you sing, birds sing I covered our secret because once I found out about Mr. Rubio being Frankie, I thought, well, I have to do that song because I feel like I know more than what a lot of people in the world know about Frankie Presto. Some people, a few people, have that little spark and makes what they do just a little bit more special than everybody else. Mozart and Judy Garland and Frankie Presto.